Hello dear students, uh, welcome to third lecture of the financial statement of companies. The second lecture we discuss the legal status of the financial statements companies. In the third lecture we are going to discuss uh, the key concept of the financial statement of the company. What are the important concepts relating with the financial statement of the companies? And what are the statutory books relating with the companies? And what are the differences between the provision and the reserve? Uh, this is the important contents of this uh, third lecture for the key concept, statutory books and the what difference between the provisions and the reserve. And before that, what is a company? So once again, the company is like an artificial person created by the rule for the common seal for achieving a common objectives. As per the Companies Act, Indian Companies Act 2013 specified that a company is like a registered association which is an artificial legal person having an independent legal entity with a perpetual succession and common seal with a transfer of shares and carrying the liabilities that limited. It's known as the company. As a very simple terms, it's like a natural legal entity from formed by an association or group of people. The team is known as a company. I'm discussing the what are the key requirement of the presentation of finance statement. But a final accounts to go final accounts means Profit loss account and balance sheet tomorrow. But final accounts. If the present year and certain other things, that are very important, that uh, concept to learn. What is the important concept whenever you are preparing the financial statement of this company? For a company, the financial statements prepare him. But we are learning that there are some legal items that are required. In that, the legal requirement of the specific part is given. Other than that, we are learning that there are some material concepts to learn. What are the important material concepts? A first one going concept for, for accounting concept like two important concepts that's a going concept and that means financial statements are must be prepared on the going concern basis uh, what is the going concern the going concerns like an accounting teams for the company that is financially stable enough to meet the obligation to continue the business for seen futures a poor company is some which our financial strength and diagram Financially stable, I reckon, our obligations to meet here and so the Bavi Veran Bogan obligations are the meet here and so they can. That's a going concern. And certain expenses and assets may be deferred at the financial report if a company assumed to be going concern. Karam either in the liabilities company can meet here and so they can. Company financial stable honor and enough to meet the obligations. Our kind of obligations to meet here and so they can. Bavi Veran Bogan, foreseen future, la, foreseeable future, la, Veran Bogan, Ella Karingalum, our can meet here and so they can. The concept is known as the going concept. It's a very important concept. There is a going concept. Okay, that's the first concept is going concern. And second one is accrual basis. Accrual concept. Accrual basis means very important element. As per the accounting point, that's accrual concept. An accrual concept that means is an accounting concept recording revenues whenever earned and expenses are incurred. Nam kariyam namada revenues earned ji yim expense incurring ji yim concept on. Nam kariyam revenues yim yim expense yim Similar accrual basis company will record the expenses as incurred while cash basis of company would instead of wait for the wait to pay the supplier before recording the expense. Accrual basis accounting nam kariyam namada concept kariyam expense yim income yim namada means record yim 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 the finance statement except except cash flow statements are required to be prepared used in accrual basis nanu paraya the accrual basis of accounting is a concept of recording revenues when earned and expenses are incurred engane nammada incomes nammal record cheyunu engane nammada expenses nammal record cheyunu a company will record the expenses are incurred expenses lu verum nammal adu incur cheyindu adu nammal record cheyidirikkum while cash basis while a cash basis companies would instead to wait so, if you have the cash on the basis of the company, you can wait for the cash to pay the supplies before recording the expense. Because if you have the expense, you can wait for the money. So, the accrual basis of the concept is that you can record the incomes, expenses, incomes, revenues. That's why it's an accrual basis. Second important element is accrual basis. So, in accrual basis, we can prepare the statements. When a uh, when a cash basis on a company who would, would uh, company would instead wait to pay its suppliers before recording expense. Cash get in a matra get together a matra namka code in a session matra ella record cash get in a mass session matra record in below the expense on a cash code in a session matra me other record in a bottom the second concern is accrual basis okay this is the first one going concern and second one is accrual basis and third one is the materiality concept 
Maturity principles or maturity concept is an accounting principle that concerns about the relevance of information. So, the size, nature, transaction report. Because in the information, the relevance of information, size, nature, transaction that report the finance statements. But then, but then relevance is there. Each material glass of the similar item must be prepared separately, and same has to be followed items in dissimilar nature. अतः नमले इन्द्र कार्य प्रपारे हम लोग आइनो सिमिलरिटी की पीर। सिमिलर आइटम मस्ट बी प्रपार्ड सेपरेटली। कारण हम करें हम के कारण डेसर्ट साने कारण डेसर्ट्स का और एक और एक मिक्स प्रपारे हैं। सेम हैस टू बी पॉलोड आइटम्स इन डिसिमिलर नेचर। क्योंकि ये डायल मिक्सी तो पारे हम पालेंगे। आप अधोगुण्डे हम कर आसेट एंड लायबिलिटी ऑफसेटिंग है, इनकम एक्सपेंस का ऑफसेटिंग आवश्यक है। एंड आसेट्स एंड लायबिलिटीज़ और इनकम एंड एक्सपेंस आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी शॉन ऑन द ग्रोस बेसिस विदाउट ऑफसेटिंग अगेंस्ट ईच अदर। इन्हीं आसेट्स एंड लायबिलिटीज़ हम लोग के नमक ऑफसेटिंग हम लोग साधारण नॉर्मल ट an entry can be offset by equal but opposite entry that we nullify the original career debit and credit transition well asset and liabilities and income expense are required to be shown on the gross basis without offsetting the gain let us say that asset and liabilities are separated and can't care other moving to offset you then party layer in an account rule over the specific is offsetting concept asset liabilities income and expense are required to be shown on a gross basis Without offsetting against each other, that angooting or offsetting, that another thing, that is, create more to carry on it. That is the fourth important concept, the offsetting concept. And fifth one is the consistency. We are talking about material to the continuation. We are in the in the preparation. That is, in the last preparation, the presentation, classification of items or finance statement from period to period shall be consistently followed. In the an in the preparation, that is, in the last 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 preparation, so consistency is very important element, the presentation, the classification items of the finance statements from period to period shall be consistently followed. That is one of the important uh, principle and the concept regarding you know, the preparation of the finance statements of the companies. And sixth one is a very important concept, that is a true and fair. As per the Companies Act, you must be prepared the accounts as a true and fair. That means it must be relevant, reliable, comparable and understandable. The team is known as the true and fair. So it's one of the important, sixth important concept in relating with the final accounts of the company. Uh, that's a true and fair. You have to prepare the accounting info. That means your balance sheet, your the profit and loss account as per the true and fair statements. That means it must be relevant, reliable and comparable and understandable. Okay, these are the six important uh, elements, the six important concepts relating with your the uh, financial statements of companies. So once again, the first statement is the going concern. The going concern that means the, it's an account company that financially stable and they have uh, stable enough to meet the obligation and continues the business. They have the enough uh, sufficiency to meet the, the obligations in near future. Another one is accrual basis. That means must be record record the revenues and the expenses which cash basis company would. Uh, would instead wait to pay its supply before recording its expenses. This is very important this accrual basis. And then the materiality principle, the concept of accounting that concern about the relevance of the information. That's the materiality concept. This offsetting, that means normal offsetting is allowable, but assets and liabilities or income and expense are required to be shown on a gross basis without offsetting against each other. That is the offsetting principle. That's the consistency. The consistency means uh, your uh, accounting rules must be consistent, no, do not change the uh, uh, frequent interval. Period to period shall be consistently followed, that's the consistency. And sixth one, true and fair, the finance statement which is relevant, reliable, comparable and understandable. That's, so that's a true and uh, fair. This is the important um, requirements regarding the financial statements of the company. There's a going concern, accrual basis, materiality, offsetting and the consistency and the true and fair. And after that, what are the important statutory books in company? And a company is like an artificial person created by the uh, created by the law, and there is a common seal and perpetual succession. And what are the important statutory books relating with the companies? 
and we're discussing some important books relating with the companies and first one is the register of charges as per section 85 there's a register regarding the charges this is one of the important books as per section 85 the register of charges and another register of members the member those who are relating with the company must be specified under section 88 there's a register of members and third register debenture holder with index that means index index means the debenture have the class 8% 7% 9% debenture the register of debenture holder is very essential as per section 88 and copies of the annual returns company must be filed the taxes the annual return must be filed and copied as per section 94 that is a very important element the copies of the annual returns another one is the minutes book the meeting minutes book very important as per the company section 118 minutes book must be kept for the proper records and another one is the register of the directors and managing directors as per section 170 the register regarding the directors and the managing managing directors and the last one is register of director director shareholding those who are the register of the register of director shareholding as per section 170 these are the important statutory book relating with the companies and the first one the register of charges as per section 85 the register of the members section 1 section 88 register of dependent holder with the index section 88 copies of the annual return section 94 the minutes book section 118 the register of directors and managing directors section 170 register of director shareholding as per section 170 are these the important books kept under the companies act these are the uh, books are required to maintain by the company with the various provisions of the companies act 2013 okay and after that what are the basic difference with the provision and reserve an accounting purpose we are using the team simultaneously and interchangeably there's a provision and reserve and what are the basic difference between this provision and reserve i'll let you discuss the basic difference between the provision and reserve and the first and here what is a reserve the reserve means like a portion of profit kept aside for the unforeseen obligation of the business reserve means namukku ariya nammal maatti vekkunna element endanu nammada profit nammal maatti vekkunna element aanu nammada reserve portion nammal maatti vekkum profit and portion maari reserve lekku maatti vekkum the portion of the profit kept aside for the unforeseen obligations provision means a portion of money from the business set aside meeting non liabilities ad provisions nu parna namukku verna നമ്മുടെ ബിസിനസ് നമുക്ക് ഒരുപാട് ലയബിലിറ്റീസ് വരാം നമുക്ക് അറിയാവുന്ന ലയബിലിറ്റീസ് മീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി നമുക്ക് കരുതി വെക്കുന്ന എലമെന്റാണ് പ്രൊവിഷൻ പ്രൊവിഷൻ മീൻസ് മണി ഫ്രം ബിസിനസ് ബിസിനസ് നിന്ന് കിട്ടുന്ന പൈസ സെറ്റ് എസൈഡ് ഫോർ മീറ്റിംഗ് നോൺ ലയബിലിറ്റി നമുക്ക് അറിയാവുന്ന ലയബിലിറ്റീസ് മറ്റത് അൺഫോസീൻ ആണ് നമുക്ക് അറിയില്ല എന്ത് സംഭവിക്കും അതിനു വേണ്ടി റിസർവ്സ് മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ചെയ്യണത് ഭാവിയിൽ എന്ത് സംഭവിക്കും ഒരിക്കലും പറയാൻ സാധിക്കും അപ്പം ഭാവിയിലത്തെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ മീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ റിസർവ്സ് വയ്ക്കുന്നത് പ്രൊവിഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് അറിയാവുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ നമുക്ക് അറിയാവുന്ന ലയബിലിറ്റീസ് മീറ്റ് ചെയ്യാനാണ് നമ്മൾ പ്രൊവിഷൻസ് കീപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ പ്രൊവിഷൻ അനദർ മെത്തേഡ് ഓഫ് ക്രിയേഷൻ created by debiting the profit loss account profit loss appropriation account namlu profit loss account le p and l appropriation account le debit cheyana cheyadu and created by debiting profit loss account provisions varundu creating by debiting profit loss account profit loss account le debit cheyidu kondana method varundu ivide ke debit cheyana p and l appropriation aanu ivide debit cheyana profit loss account aanu and one is the purpose Uh, it provide the capital for running the business and safeguard against expenses and unforeseen conditions nammal parane baavilam ke endel issue undengal solve cheyan sadikkum and it secure the business from expense arising from the non liability namukku ippothe endel budhimuttullu adu adu meet cheyanana nammal provisions kodale use cheyanu it secure the business from expense arising from the non liability okay and another one allocation the presence of profit is required for the allocation of reserves നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഇസ് റിക്യൂർഡ് ഫോർ അലോക്കേഷൻ ഇവിടെ നമുക്ക് അലോക്കേഷൻ ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഇസ് റിക്യൂർഡ് ഫോർ അലോക്കി റിസർവ്സ് അലോക്കേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള പ്രോഫിറ്റ് വളരെ എസെൻഷ്യൽ ആണ് ദ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഇസ് നോട്ട് നെസസറി ഫോർ ദ അലോക്കേഷൻ ഇവിടെ പ്രോഫിറ്റിന് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് വരുന്നില്ല ഇവിടെ പ്രോഫിറ്റിന് അതിൻ്റെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് വരുന്നുണ്ട് ഓക്കെ അനദർ വൺ ഇസ് ഡിവിഡൻ പേയ്മെൻറ്റ് ദ പെയ്ഡ് ഫ്രം റിസർവ്സ് ഡിവിഡ് ഇസ് ഓൾവേസ് പെയ്ഡ് ഫ്രം ദ റിസർവ്സ് ആൻഡ് കെ നോട്ട് ബി പെയ്ഡ് ഇവിടെ ഡിവിഡൻ പേ ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല ആൻഡ് ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓൺ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് റിഡ്യൂസ് നെറ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഓൺ ദ ഒബ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഇനി പ്രോഫിറ്റിൻ്റെ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ ഇവിടെ റിഡ്യൂസ് നെറ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻ നമ്മുടെ പ്രോഫിറ്റിൻ്റെ നമ്മുടെ നമ്മുടെ നെറ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഓർഗനൈ കുറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കും റിസർവ്സ് മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ ചെയ്ത് നമ്മുടെ നെറ്റ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് കുറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കും ആൻഡ് റിഡ്യൂസ് എ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഫോർ ദ ഡിവിഡൻ ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ പ്രൊവിഷൻസ് ആണ് കൊടുക്കുന്നതെങ്കിൽ അത് നമ്മുടെ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ഡിവിഡൻ ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ആണ് കുറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുക ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് അനദർ വൺ ഇസ് അപ്പിയർ ഓൾവേസ് ഓൺ ഓൺ ദ ലാബിലിറ്റി സൈഡ് റിസർവ്സ് നമുക്ക് ലാബിലിറ്റി സൈഡിലാണ് പോലും കാണിക്കുക ദിസ് അപ്പിയർ ഡിറക്ഷൻ കൺസേൺഡ് അസെറ്റ
ഇൻ കേസ് ഓഫ് അസെറ്റ് ഇൻ കേസ് ഓഫ് ലയബിലിറ്റി ഇഷ്യൂ ആൺ ഓൺ ദ ലയബിലിറ്റി സൈഡ് അത് നമുക്ക് പ്രൊവിഷൻസ് പല രീതിയിൽ കാണിക്കും അപ്പിയർ ഡിഡക്ഷൻ ഫോർമാറ്റ് എന്ന് കാണാം അസെറ്റിനാണെങ്കിൽ കൺസേൺഡ് അസെറ്റിന്റെ ലയബിലിറ്റി ആണ് കൺസേൺഡ് ലയബിലിറ്റിയുടെ പ്രൊവിഷൻസ് ആണ് നമ്മളവിടെ കാണാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കുക ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് ദനദർ വൺ ഇസ് യൂട്ടിലൈസേഷൻ can be used for uh, any given purpose namke edu purpose mede use cheyan pattum i need to be used for specific purpose nare marcha provisions aanu specific purpose nu vendi maatra namke use cheyan sadikkullo other reserves namke edu purpose nu use cheyanatte sadikkum okay this is a basic difference with reserves and provision and simple meaning is provision is charge against the profit or reserves means up, uh, appropriation of profit this is a basic difference reserve is always appropriation and the provision is the charge against provisions some uh, for uh, non liabilities meet you know reserves and non liabilities are this enforcing condition on about a debit in the profit loss account about appropriation account on safeguard against enforcing contingency on the non liability on a record allocation that presence of profit very important but a presence of profit importance illa paid from the free reserves free free, free reserves on them they cannot be paid the paid yeah but dividend amount will paid yeah but impact on profit reduce the net profit organization reduce the profit to the dividend distribution always shown on the liability side uh, appear as a deduction from the concerned asset and case of asset in case of liability it should be liability okay can be used for any given purpose can be used for the specific purpose there is a difference between the reserves and the provisions okay uh, let me conclude the first we discuss what is a company company is like an artificial person created by the rule as per the indian company act there must be the proper rule that is a common seal the transfer of shares and carrying the limited liability that's a company and after that there was a key requirement that is a going concern that means the firm is the company is financially stable to bear the obligation accrual basis that means recording of the expenses and revenue and materiality that means based on relevant information offsetting in assets and liabilities income recurred so on a gross basis with the offsetting each other and the consistency this is very important they must be consistently followed true and fair that is relevant reliable comparable and understandable and these are registers uh, books that register charges register members registry budget holders copies minutes books register directors register the di- uh, direct share holdings and uh, the differences between the provision and reserve the provision means charge against the profit a reserves is your the appropriation of the profit uh, these are the basic differences between your the reserves and the the provisions and your the reserves can be used can be used for any purpose but the provision need to be used for the specific purpose and this is very imbo- this is a this is one of the important difference between the reserves and the the provisions okay anyway thank you thank you so much and thank you for watching me